Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So today we're in our UH-1H Huey and we're going to look at sling loading. So we've got a bunch of cargo set up in front of us. We want to take them from the apron here um, to the runway and unload them. So first of all, let's look at the keys we're going to be using. So as well as our normal con control keys, we're going to be using communications menu, cargo view, which allows us to look down at the cargo, Auto, external cargo auto unhook you'll press this so that it sets to auto unhook once the cargo reaches the ground and external cargo hook this hooks up the cargo okay so the first thing we've got to do is move to our selected cargo stand by um, a disclaimer I am awful in the Huey as you all know so this will probably go wrong and we've got Stahl here today who's not very good either say hello Stahl hello right move to there we go Right, so we're next to our cargo now. Now we're going to choose our cargo. So first we're going to show purposefully choosing a cargo that's out of range. So um, I'm going to go communications menu. All cargos. Now these are uh, ordered in a, a descent of how close they are. So the F1, this one is the one that's closest to me. The F10, that one is the one that's furthest away. So if we choose say uh, F7, We've chosen that one there. Now it's got a red smoke over it now, and that is because it's out of range. Uh, so we're gonna cancel that. Communications menu, all cargoes, cancel. Now we're gonna choose one that's in range, this one here. Communications menu, all cargoes, F1. No smoke, therefore it's in range. So we're going to press the hook up now. And we can see our line going, and it's gonna hook us up. Okay, Stahl, once you're hooked up, you can take off. Okay, there he goes. He's got that one instead. Okay, so when you're ready, Stahl, take off. And he wants to go straight up and not too fast. And he's got it. Good job. So we're going to do the same now, straight up, uh, not too fast. When we do it, we'll have commentary, uh, automatic commentary, telling us about the load, as you'll see. Uh, this method is basically uh, sitting down by the cargo. You can also hook up from above the cargo, which we'll try later, but let's uh, give this a go first of all. Take tension. Take tension. Take tension. Take tension. Take tension. The line is tight. Load is hanging steady. Okay. I was a little bit aggressive, but we got there. Right, now we've had a few practice goes, a few disasters, but let's try and get this right this time. Stahl, do you want to... Well, let's just try and both bring it down, basically. So we're going to try and put it on that runway. Now, the first thing is the load will swing when you're moving, uh, so you can't go too fast. You can't turn any tight corners or anything, or you will lose the load if it swings too much. You'll be told when it's swinging, basically, the automatic voice. You've got a lovely, uh, you've got a lovely control there, Shah. Okay. Um, the trimmer doesn't seem to trim the rudder. Would you agree with that? It's entirely possible. It doesn't do it in the car 50 either, unless you turn on the option. Roger, so I'm using um, the trimmer, the pilot trimmer switch at the moment to help control the vehicle. Uh, right, so yeah, so we don't want to lose the load. We can listen for when it's swinging. Can you see how much mine's swinging, Star? The load is swinging. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to press the auto unhook. You're pretty stable. The load is swinging. Slide to left to right. Roger. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to ever so slightly, ever so slightly descend. Yep. Yours unhooked. Right. Watch me now, Star. Looking good. Uh, you're swinging now, you're swinging now. Careful. Hey, I got it. Cargo unhooked. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, right now, let's go and try the other method of, um, of uh, hooking it while we're flying over the top of it. This might be a bit of a struggle. So, we've just reset the server so that we've got a bunch of new cargo to move. And now we're going to uh, show you hooking up the other way by hovering above the cargo rather than um, sitting next to it. So first of all, we will sit next to it just so we can choose the cargo. Excuse me just a second. OK, 
Okay. Same as before, comms menu, all cargo, choose the nearest one to you. Now we're going to need a new control uh, for this. I forgot to show you earlier because we didn't need it. This one here, Extar external cargo indicator. If I press that, we get this little box up here, which shows that's us there, and that's the cargo. So that's the relationship to the cargo. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to hover above the cargo so that this gets within range of us, basically, in the center. Then we're going to press the hookup button. Um, when we're over it, it's going to hook it up, and then we're going to go up like last time, hopefully. Uh, Stahl, what are the parameters again for being um, near the cargo for, for hooking up? Uh, you need to be within two meters horizontally and between two and a half and seven meters above the cargo. Uh, right. Yeah. That's going to be quite difficult. Left. So I've got to try and get yeah. settled above this cargo and then press that button when we're above it. Oh, it's going to be have it's going to be difficult. In position. If you look at the circle around the dot, I think you need to right. keep the center yeah. of the cross within the circle for a right. few seconds. Yeah. The bar on the right shows you the altitude you need to be within if it's already good. In position. In position. Forward. Yeah. In position. You are hooked. Okay, I've got it hooked, finally. Up we go, let's try not to Take drag this tension. thing. Take tension. Take tension. Take tension. The line is tight. And we've got it. Three meters off the ground. Load is hanging steady. Okay, Take it away. so now that we are airborne, our cargo indicator is gone. It was just for hooking it up, basically. Uh, right, that was quite stressful, but I've got it uh, hooked up finally. Swinging pretty hard, right left down. to right right now. Yeah. The load is swinging side to side. Yeah, yeah. I'm sweating buckets doing this. The load is swinging four and up. I know it's swinging! Yeah. The load is swinging side to side. Yeah. Swinging is so unrealistic. The load is swinging side to side. Yeah. Yeah. It would never... It's pretty cool. Physics pretty cool The load is swinging side to side. Yeah. Have you got a load? Right, guide me. Little to the right for the runway. How is she swinging? A little bit, but not too terribly. Okay. The load is swinging fore and up. Why is this swinging? The load is swinging side to side. Perfectly stable. The load is swinging fore and up. Might be pretty stable now. I'm still swinging that. They're almost there. On the ground. Really? Gently now. Oh, I forgot to unhook it. <laughs> I forgot to auto unhook. Whoops. Uh, let's try that again. Auto unhook pressed. Oh, bloody thing. Alright, let's go in again. Okay, here we go, Sharp. How's my swing? Uh, slight. A little to the left for the runway. Okay, nicely honored now. And I'm going hooked. Woohoo! Wow, that was stressful. Uh, right, so we've done that. Uh, we've shown hooking from uh, the side, we've shown hooking from above. Hooking from above was a bloody nightmare. That was um, pretty stressful, wouldn't you agree, Star? Indeed. Uh, so for to celebrate, let's make our helicopters kiss. Come here. Anything else you want to add? You said about multiplayer service. Um, yeah, there are some multiplayer service that have plugins that work a little bit differently, or that will allow you to build tanks. A eh? and so, yeah. In some of them, you won't actually have to carry the cargo around, but you'll just have it on board. It depends. Yeah. Roger. All right. Thank you for the kiss. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. It was very stressful. I'm glad we got that done. I'll probably never ever use that again. But if I do, I've now got the skills. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.